Rainbows and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I am going to show you how I make my royal family portraits. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mira Ray and I have a royal family series. So be sure to check that out if you have not already. In today's video, I'll show you how I do a royal family portrait and then also how I get some portraits of just the king or queen themselves. So let's go ahead and start. So to be able to do this, you will need the Teleport Any Sim mod and Andrew's Pose Player and I will put those download links in the description below. If you are unsure how to download mods, I'll put some tutorials on the video description below as well. So I will show you how I do this and how I set up everything. You will need a open space, especially if you're doing a photo of a big family. I also have a section for all of the poses that I found on my Pinterest board. So that link is in the description below as well. The custom content, in case you're wondering also, that is also on my Pinterest board, like their crowns and dresses and all of that. There are so many poses packs, which is awesome, but I will show you, especially for a big group and a big family, you will probably need to play around with some of the different poses that you have. So I'll show you the poses that I use. I'll link the poses that I use specifically in this video in the description below, and then any other poses you can find on my Pinterest board. So I am going to be taking a photo because we have all grown children of the Winderberg royal family right now, but we have King Henry and Queen Evangeline, and then we have have the kids who are all young adults and teenagers. But then one of the kids, Prince Kellen, he's married and he has a toddler named William. So we're going to be including them in the royal family portrait as well. But I know I'm going to need a chair. So I'm gonna put a chair down. And then I highly recommend for indoor photos that you use one of the lights. These come with the Moschino stuff pack, but then we also, oh no, sorry. These come with the Get Famous pack. And then there's some lights that come with the Moschino stuff pack as well that's like used specifically for photography, which is really great. But if you have Get Famous, you can use like one of these soft lights, which are really awesome. Actually, I'll use this one over here. You don't have to use these. Just make sure that you have a lot of light and not just like light above them, but like light facing the family. But I position the lights. So there's like one over here and then one over here, and then I'll have one in there facing them. So if you are looking to do a portrait, like a painting, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have an easel here. You're also going to want to make sure that you have someone who can paint in the family. So I have moved King Henry's sister, Anna, I've moved her into the household because she has a really high level painting skill. So she's going to be the one doing the painting and the photos, but you don't have to do that if you're just doing screenshots, but I just wanted to mention that too. Okay, so you wanna place the easel here, like a good amount of distance so it's far enough to where you can take the picture. I might actually need to put that a little bit further away. So I'll put that there. And then I also am going to need a camera. And this is only used with the Moschino stuff pack. So if you don't have it, you can still take pictures. You could really just give a camera to the sim taking a picture. So you don't have to worry about that. I just wanted to show this to you guys. But if you have a Moschino stuff pack, you can put a camera on the tripod, which is really cool. Okay, so that's pretty much all the setup that you need. Make sure that the background is something that you like, that you're okay with in the background. I don't usually have these curtains here, but just just to make the photos in the background less obvious, I just decided to put them there. So the important thing you need is the Andrews Pose Player and the Teleport any sim mod. The teleport any sim mod, you're going to have something that looks like this. You can put in the search bar, you can just type in teleporter and then this thing should pop up. If you are not sure how to download custom content and mods, I will also include a link to a video to show you how to do that as well. So another tip that I have is to make sure you have everything set up before you put these knights or the teleporters into place or before you have posed your sims because if you have already started posing your sims and then you realize you needed another light or you don't like something in the background, if you delete it, there might be a chance of your sims just like getting up and like not posing anymore and it's really irritating and it takes a long time to get them back into that place again. So I just wanna give you that tip. So I do need to make sure everything's already set. So the first ones I'm going to pose is Kellen, Megan, and their son because I'll show you just how to do a small family portrait for First, I'm going to have them sitting in this chair. So I need to put down three of those knights. So I just click three times to make sure that they're there. I am going to be putting King Henry and Queen Evangeline behind them, standing behind them. So one, two. The pose that I'm using is a couple's pose. So that's why I can put them all in one spot. If the poses that you're using are from different packs, there's a chance you might need to separate the knights depending on where you want them to stand. For example, I'm going to have Prince Charles and then 
in Princess Bellatrix. They're going to be standing next to their parents, so I'll place them there. And then I think I'm going to have Amira and Diana be sitting on a chair. But I do like this little ottoman that comes with the pets pack, so I'm going to be using this. I had debated putting like this chair because it matches, but then I think it would look weird if it's just straight on, like it would need to be curved like that. But then if their Sims are sitting, then they're gonna be looking straight forward, so they wouldn't be looking at the camera if I angle the chair this way. Plus if I just have a small ottoman like this when they're sitting on it, you can't really see it. So I think it'll look fine. I guess we'll, ju we'll just see, this is a test. All right, but I need to make sure I put one teleporter there and one teleporter here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start posing the Sims. You're probably gonna wanna make sure your game is paused because otherwise your sims might wander off. That's another issue that tends to happen. I highly suggest going into the options menu, game options, and then under gameplay, and then making sure autonomy is turned off, and then making sure that this is also checked because otherwise your sim might go do their own thing. So this is easier and makes them just stand into place. One thing that also helps, and I noticed this was an issue I think when Get Famous came out, or if you have Get Famous, is that because if you have a sim that's a global superstar or has a high reputation or something, then your other Sims might wander off and then like fangirl over them. So it kind of helps what I've noticed is to pose them each separately. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to summon a Sim here, and then we wanna go to the people that we're close with. So Duke Kellen, I would probably wanna just pose him first before I summon his wife, Megan and his son, William. So we're going to go to pose by pack. If you click on them, this pose by pack thing should show up. and. The pose that I'm going to do is this one, the family portrait number two pack. This one is great. So I'm going to use the pose one here. So I'm going to have Prince Kellen. He's going to be on the right. So I'm gonna pose him first, so then I would press play. Okay, so there he is. So he just posed, so then press pause again. And now I want to summon a sim here. You have to summon a sim if they are not on the lot, but you can teleport any sim that's on the lot. So then I find his wife, Princess Megan, and then I'm I'm going to click on her and then go to pose by pack. Then I go to the same pose pack that I did for Kellen. So then I'm going to have Princess Megan. She's going to be on the left and then I press play. All right, so now she's sitting and then I need to summon another Sim. So we're going to summon Lord William and oh gosh. Okay, yeah, there he is. So yeah, with the toddlers, especially if they're sitting down, it might be hard to find them. This really takes practice guys and a lot of patience. So make sure you're patient. So we have Lord William here. Then I also need to go to the same pack as I did for his parents. So we're gonna click on that and then click on the one that says one toddler. And then we're going to exit out and then click play. Okay, so you see here that little baby William, his leg is going and clipping through his mother's dress. So that's okay because I think the dress that I had picked for her, I don't think it'll do that. Let's go see. So you have to, it's very helpful to have MC Command Center. That way you can have them just change their outfits if you need them to. Okay, so it does look like there is a lot of purple going on his leg right now. So we are going to switch them. There you go. So they should switch sides. That is just such a cute picture. I love that so much. That is our starting pose. Poses. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six more Sims to pose. So next I'm going to pose King Henry and Queen Evangeline. So I'm going to teleport them here since they're already in the household. So teleport King Henry, and then I'm going to want to pose him first. A great one that works for usually the parents for the royal family portraits. I like this Hollywood star pose pack. So I'll definitely put that in the description below. A good one to use is, I like number five. So for this one, so I would have King Henry on the right because you guys can see that the guy is on the right in here and then I would click play so he can pose. Another thing that's also helpful is if you click on the sim if they're in their household sometimes it'll say positively react to sims presence or something like that. When that shows up and you're playing from that sim make sure you exit out as quickly as possible and hope that they stop doing it. Okay next I'm going to pose Queen Evangeline so teleport her click on her and then go to pose by pack and then I would click left five for Queen Evangeline and then press play. And then there you go. So now they're behind them. And for this pose pack, actually, if you're in live mode, you guys can see their mouths move. Not all of them do this. Sometimes they're like already smiling or they're not smiling at all. This is one of the only pose packs, I think, where they actually move. So you would have to wait until you get them to smile and then pause it and take a picture. All right, then I'm going to change their outfits. Okay, so next we're going to have their children. Actually, their kids might be a little bit far apart, but if I move them, then everyone is just gonna stand up and then all of my progress will be ruined. So I'm not gonna do that.
that. Hopefully it'll be fine. We'll just see. Okay, so I'm gonna have Princess Bellatrix over here on the right, and then I'm going to pose her. A pose for her I'll probably do is just one of the individual poses. You know what, guys? I don't actually like how far she is, but that's okay, because they're in individual poses. So really, if I just have her like walk here. Now she's standing much closer to them. So I don't think this one will look as weird, but I'm going to have her pose by pack. I like this one. So for this one, let's try, I, I sometimes I just try a bunch of them. So let's do two, three, and let's try six. So yeah, she's not smiling in them. I'll have to find a good one where they're actually smiling because I definitely need more, but we're going to go to MC Command Center so I can change her outfit. You know what? I had her wearing this dress, but I might actually change it to a puffy dress just to fill the space a little bit in between her and her parents, because I think that looks good. Same thing with Queen Evangeline, actually. I think I'm gonna have her change into her big ball gown as well. So now they're wearing their big ball gowns, and then next we're going to teleport her twin brother, Prince Charles. For the guy poses, there are some individual ones, but not a ton. A really good one is the aristocratic portraits. This one right here, number 12, is really good for them. There we go. So, okay, he's a little bit further than I wanted, but that's actually not too bad. Okay, next we're gonna pose Princess Diana and Princess Amira. So I'm going to teleport Princess Diana here, and then I'm going to pick a pose for her. So there is a pack of just sitting poses, which is really nice. And I'm pretty sure they smile in most of them, which is really nice. So there's sitting poses and then there's simple sitting poses remix. And I usually like this one, but there's a bunch of different options. So really what you can do, you can just click on them so that way you can pick which one is your favorite when she gets to it and then if you don't like the first one you just exit out of it so click on her and then press play i don't know how i feel about this post so i'm gonna exit here okay so then she just changed pose so that one's really cute i actually like that one a lot and then lastly we're going to go ahead and pose princess amira okay so same thing for amira i'm going to use those sitting poses and see which one i like best on her okay so i do think i like this pose with amira even if her hands are clipping a little little bit at the angle I'm taking the picture, you won't be able to see that. So I think it's fine. So this is the royal family portrait that we have. The only thing is Diana or uh, Bellatrix is not completely looking at the camera. I could also try a different pose for her. Okay, so there is our royal family portrait. So if you're just taking screenshots, go ahead and start taking some pictures. If you want an actual portrait of them, what you're gonna have to do is have the Sim that can paint and go ahead and have them do a paint from a reference. And for this one, let's do a large painting from reference. If it doesn't work, then we'll do a medium painting from reference. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna have to do a medium painting from reference to be able to fit everyone into that. Okay, so paint from reference, medium painting from reference, and then hopefully everybody's looking. The thing about using the animations, as you guys can see, is that Princess Bellatrix is not looking at the painting. You might not even be able to tell in the painting, honestly, because it's not completely clear when you guys paint it, but if you're really picky about it, you can just try again and wait until she actually is looking at the camera. For me, just for time's sake, we're just going to go go ahead and take their picture. So then you would press C or enter or whatever. And then we're going to have to wait for Princess Anna to just paint the picture. If I had to make a change for this, I might've put them on a longer couch and then just have had Diana and Amira sitting on the couch next to them. Okay, so this is the picture. Yeah, you can't even tell that Bellatrix is not looking at the camera, so it doesn't matter really at all. And then I have the picture that I can post on our Royal Family Instagram too. My Instagram is Mira Ray underscore royals. I'll put that in the description below so you guys can see all of the family portraits that I have done and posted. If you wanted to figure out how to get the picture to look a little bit less yellow, what you can do, just click on one of the lights that you have in the room and then set color and intensity. And then this room, and then you probably wanna set it to either a warm white or a neutral white. So then it looks a little bit less yellow when you're painting the pictures. You could have also taken a picture with the camera. I'm sorry, I didn't really get to show that to you. But for example, if you had the tripod, not everyone has a tripod, so I didn't really think it was important to cover this, but you would just have her go to take photo and then she would take the picture and then you would get to choose like where you want the picture, like you can zoom in and out in here. So that's another thing you could have done. The very last thing I'm going to show you guys is just how to get royal portraits. So for example, I want one of Princess Amira. For the portraits, you wanna make sure that they're a good distance away from the painting or from the easel, sorry. I'd say probably 
like right here I would want her to be at, but you also wanna make sure they're looking straight forward. Then you're gonna click on her. You don't even really have to do the teleporting mod for this situation. You honestly don't even need it unless you're having them use like another object, like sit down on a couch or on a bed or something like that. Like if they're standing, you could just use MC Command Center to teleport another sim there. But for Amira, I'm gonna use one of these singular poses and it's just really like her chest and up so it doesn't have to be a pose that really like matters what her hands or anything looks like. And then large painting from reference and I'm going to go find her. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, then you're gonna press C and then you're going to wait for the painter to finish their portrait. So I'll show you guys another thing you could have done to say Princess Amira is right there. So I'm gonna go to MC Command Center and Sim Commands and then teleport lot sim just because the person I wanna teleport is right here. So teleport lot sim to her and then I'm going to teleport Princess Diana here. I just wanna get like a quick picture, a cute fun picture of them. I have this besties pose pack. Okay, so this one is really cute. So there's A and B. I don't actually know which one's which. Not all of them are clear, just so you guys are aware. So then this is Amira and Diana. So it's like an adorable picture of them. So when Princess Anna is done painting Amira's portrait, I'm going to just take like a few screenshots of them that I can add to the Instagram. But yeah, there you go. So she is done with Amira's portrait. Okay, but Princess Anna, you are done. So yeah, I'll go ahead and have her take a photo. This kind of makes Amira's face look a little bit strange. That's okay. You do not need the Moschino pack to be able to just take pictures like this, but the tripod is the only thing that comes with the Moschino pack. If you do not have a Moschino pack, you would just take the camera and put it in your inventory and then have the photographer stand in front of them and then click take photo as she's standing in front of them. So you guys would just do that instead. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. Another really fun thing I like to do is couple poses, but that's essentially just what I showed you right here. I have a ton of couple poses on my Pinterest board, so make sure to check that out. I am going to end this video here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below and I will be sure to try and answer them. If you see someone who asks a question that you know the answer to, please feel free to respond. That would be super helpful for me. Make sure you check the description of the video to click on any links and any tutorials. If this was helpful and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, click that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!